how y'all doing this blustery, wintry morning in Cape Town. I hope all is well on the other side of the internet. Had it didn't work this morning, I wanted to first thank you guys, thank each and every one of you, for motivating me to get my ass out of my home office and actually go into my work office for the day. I normally do it once or twice a week, and it's fucking cold out. But I looked outside and I saw the winter sun, and I checked the wind, and there's virtually none, and I was like, you know what? Like it, we'll take a ride, we'll go into the office, we'll do a quick vlog. And I am very glad I did, because it is bloody nice out. So I was thinking over the weekend, as I do, I do my best thinking on the weekend when I don't actually have to think. And I was thinking, what is the perfect motorcycle? What is the perfect motorcycle? What's your perfect bike? And this is something that I have struggled with. Uh, for the last, what, 2015, I started riding in 2012, last three years. I started on a 252 stroke. And I was happy with that bike, man. I loved that it. it pulled like a, like a motherfucker. And, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was a fickle beast. It had a bit of, uh, it had its drawbacks, you know, with the piston melting and, and all that. That was my fault. But then I was like, you know, no, I've, 250 is not the ideal bike. The 650, the 650 has to be the ideal bike. So I bought a 650. V-twin, lots of torque down low, all the power where you wanted it. And it sounded great, looked great, looked the part. And I had that bike for about a year. And then the eye starts to wander again, right? And I see these sport bikes going by and I'm thinking, oh, I've got a nice bike, but it's not like, it's not a true stallion. It's not a, it's not a quarter horse. This is more of a, of a farm horse and God damn it, I need a quarter horse. This is the 600. Now that's my bike. That's my fucking bike. I'm going to get a 600. So I got a 600 and man, that GSX RK7, baby. And I was fucking leaning and I was mountain pass and commute be damned. It didn't matter if my wrists were a bit sore. None of that shit mattered because I had a, I had a bike as it was meant to be had. I had a, I had a true sport bike. And I had that for a while and then, and then my eyes started to wander. And I thought, oh, but is it, is it riding a bike? Isn't it really all about the experience of fun? Isn't, isn't quintessential bike riding about fun? And what's more fun than a supermoto? Nothing. There's nothing more fun on a motorcycle than a fucking supermoto. You pop wheelies and you pop curbs and you back it in and throw it around and wada wada wada. So I bought me a DRZ 400. And I loved it. I had, I made terrible, terrible attempts at wheelies. And, uh, and the bumpy rides around Cape Town's Peninsula didn't bother me anymore. It's had an awesome suspension. And I met these new guys, and they're super into supermotos. I was like, fuck, there's a whole community around supermotos. No, this is this is the right choice. I I finally got I have the perfect bike. This is my perfect bike. And then I started looking at the triple. Because I was like, Jesus, having having these two bikes is not sustainable and you know, I'm not riding the GSXR like I like I should and the supermoto, god damn it. It's so great for around town, but on the highways it just doesn't get enough speed and I don't have enough power and and bikes really are about power and they're about deliverable, usable power and what's more deliverable and usable than a <laughs> than a fucking 675, surely! Surely that's the bike that I need. No, no, this is this is it, this is the one, this is my baby. It's a it's a naked bike. There's no frills, there's no there's no bullshit on it, there's no fairings, it's it's how motorcycles started, god damn it, and this is how it's gonna end. I'm gonna have a triple. I'm gonna have a triple for the rest of my fucking life. Speed triple, street triple, some kind of triple ended up with a 675. I've had this bike for a little over a year. And my eye is starting to wander. And I just, I, I'm thinking to myself, surely, after six fucking bikes, is it six two, four, 
Oh no, this is the fifth bike. So is, is the sixth bike gonna be the one? And the answer, boys and girls, is no. No, it's not. There is no perfect bike. What it comes down to is no one bike is great at everything. All the bikes, they all have their, their quirks, right? They all have that thing that they fucking excel at. My 250 was great learner bike. My 650 was the perfect step up to my first big bike. The 600 was great for the mountain passes and for long runs down the N2 at, you know, fucking 160, 180 plus. The Supermoto was the perfect bike for around the peninsula. This bike is the perfect commuter slash all-arounder. It does everything good. It doesn't excel at anything. And so I have decided that my mind and my eye will always be wandering. And really the only way that I'm going to be able to satisfy that need is by having more than one motorcycle, which right now is really not a feasible sort of thing. So instead of taking this bike and selling it for another bike, chasing some fucking dragon that I will never catch, I'm gonna keep this bike. I'm gonna keep this bike because it's fucking awesome. And I realized that my last three bikes, I have been chasing the dragon and I need to stop it. I need to stop chasing it because I'm never gonna fucking catch it. This bike is perfect for what it is, for what I do on a daily basis. Sure, when I'm around the peninsula and the roads are shit, fuck, it beats the fuck out of me. But you know what? It's good enough. <laughs> and I need to be grateful that I have such an awesome motorcycle in an awesome city with my awesome subscribers. And I'm just going to be grateful and be happy and stop chasing the dragon. So I encourage you, dear friend, if you are a dragon chaser, just put down the equipment for a while. The dragon's not going anywhere. You will always be able to chase that dragon. But stop and be grateful and realize what you have. And that is all I have to say about that. I hope you guys have a fucking phenomenal day. Don't know when I'll put this video up. Shit, I might even get home and, uh, and edit it up and put it up today. Today's Monday. I'm pretty fucking cheerful for a Monday. No, nope, wait, it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. There was a public holiday yesterday. Maybe that's why I'm in such a good mood. Three day weekend. Anyhow, speed safe. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you to make sure this motorcyclist doesn't need any help. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Just